Hi, um, this is a quick tutorial on how to unwrap a teapot. I'm going to start by a teapot. I'm going to choose a teapot, click and drag to create a teapot. And I'm going to go to the modify panel. I'm going to right click convert this to editable poly. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to separate each of these elements separately. Um, what I will also actually do is run this application here so you can uh, have a look at the key key strokes I have okay so we have different elements here so what we're gonna do is we want to make sure that all of these are off a good practice before we start unwrapping is to um, do a mapping clear on it so once that I put a UVW mapping clear on it I can convert it to editor poly and then I will put on a unwrap UVW map on top if I open up my UV editor you will see that it looks like this um, none of this is what I like, so I will select everything and move it out of the UV area. I'm going to start with the lid here. I'm going to select my polygon mode, but I have ignore back facing on, which means if I was to select this, it will try not to select the polygons that I don't see. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I turn this off. I select everything for the lid, and I will deselect the top bit. This will give me a flat surface here. Um, I can now do a planar mapping on it. That will um, fit that within my area. Then I can turn planar mapping off. I'm going to hold control and drag that in order to make it small. And I'm just going to move it this out. I can either just move it out manually, or I could turn this absolute relative types in on and put it on, let's say, grid two. Um, grid two. And that will put that over there for me. You can either manually move it or not, it doesn't matter. So I'm now going to select this top bit. Again, I, wanna, I might want to press F3 to go to wireframe mode to make sure that I don't have anything unnecessary selected. In this case, I will probably use a um, cylinder mapping on it. And in this case, I'll probably have it on a Z axis. You may also want to click on check it pattern and then click on check it pattern in order to see the boxes to see how it looks. Now, these boxes over here look quite stretched, so I'm going to have to turn this off in order to be able to edit this in the UV editor I'm gonna size this until these get a square shape and I'm gonna hold control and drag this down what I'm also going to do is select this one vert, the top one hold control and click on the okay that doesn't work, I have to select this vert, go to select and say vertex to faces and it will select all the faces connected to that um, or it should have actually vertex to face that's odd by the way I could just select these manually one by one again go to wireframe mode to make sure we don't have anything un selected unnecessary again that's a flat surface so I could just do a plane and mapping on it and scale it down. Again, these ones I'm gonna move out of the area. Again, I have a flat surface here. I'm gonna press G to remove the grid, and I'm gonna go ahead and select these polygons. And I'm gonna hit grow, 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 maybe one more time. And again, that's flat, so I'm gonna do a plane and mapping on those. Again, hold control, scale them down and put them to the side. What I'm left with now is this plane here. So what I could do, I think that's all of this here. So I could select all of that, yep. And do a um, cylindrical mapping on it. And again, turn that off. Just get the scale tool, make sure these are all solid squares. You could press F2 in order to toggle between that. But no that across I think it should be too big I'm gonna hold control and drag that to make it a bit bigger I have this one vert here which seems to be okay that's what it doesn't matter I mean it does matter but I don't want to concentrate on it too much for now for this case what I want to do I might go ahead and press F3 so I can see this better I might select it press Z on my keyboard to zoom into it so I'm only concentrating on this selection here I'm going to go to point to point seam and I'm um, actually before I do that I don't want to have anything selected point to point seam 
select one vert and then follow that up the line up to the point that it needs to be um, I think it goes in there and does it end there I think I think it does no it goes there okay so that's finished and then I'm gonna go to polygon mode I'm gonna select all of these polygons and I'm gonna just do a quick peel and that will peel it for me and I can put that across over here what I can also do is come to the other one and use a similar method here just go to vert mode point to point seam just click on one vert here and continue the line up to there right click to earn it, end it select all of these polygons and click on quick peel and it will peel it for me so that's good so now that I have everything unwrapped I want to bring them here together so that I'm going to bring it in I'm going to hold control and scale it down a little bit so that it fits and I'm going to what I could do even I could hit element mode on and just with one single click I could select the different elements if you need to rescale things feel free to do that like this is too big I'm going to rescale it, put that there. I'm actually going to go full screen here. Select this one element, bring it here. Select this element and put it here. You feel free to rotate this if you want to. I'm going to make sure my angle snap tool is on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees and put it over here. Now what I'm going to do now is select the next, which is the polygon here just put that over there and last bit as well just make sure they're not overlapping when you put in them next to each other uh, once this is done go to tools render UV templates 1024 is ok render UVs and it gives you this extra window you may want to go and save this I'm gonna go to my desktop I have a temporary file here where I saw my temporary files here I'm gonna call this Teapot underscore UV and the best format for this is a PNG file so that you have opacity saved on it as well. I'm going to hit that, click save, and make sure you don't delete this modifier, just right click and convert it to editable poly. That will also save all the um, all the uh, information there. I'm sorry, that's my colleague walking in and out. Um, so once that's converted, then I could um, go to Photoshop. <coughs> and I could go ahead and um, go to file open find the PNG that I just created in the temporal files and there must be a um, T underscore there you go that's it it looks blank it's not actually blank it's got information in there what I could do is double click on the layer and on the color overlay which is over here set it to a color that I would see. What I could do now is go ahead and get a texture, any texture that I think would match this. Um, I'm not sure if I have anything appropriate on my computer. I can have a look. Um, textures. Um, let's go with clay or rock smooth. Rock smooth sounds good. So I have this rock smooth texture here what I could do uh, in order to put that because I think the image size of this is 700 by 700 what I could do in this case I could just probably just set it to 512 control A control C control V here put that there and just uh, alt and drag them to make duplicates just put those on top for now this is the worst possible way of texturing now wrap teapot save as uh, I'm gonna call this T done. It's not done. It's just so bad. Uh, Ample material to change it to standard for mark and design. Change it to standard. In the diffuse channel, I'm gonna choose a bitmap file. I'm gonna go to desktop, temporary files, and I'm gonna look for T done. Okay, and I could click and drag it up to there and say showing viewport, and this is how it will end up looking like. 
but um, this is not the whole purpose of um, unwrapping something just so that you could s put a solid texture on it. The good thing about this is if I go to unwrap UVA and open UV editor and I okay so this section that on top is the main body so if I was to bring this UV on top so I can see what I'm doing I could get my text tool and here I could write uh, on wrapping on wrapping is awesome and I could increase that put that here change the color to um, black and hide my layers and save this Theos Max should recognize the change and it's upside down it's upside down because then I have to turn this upside down control apply control save um, I don't know why recently I've been getting there a lot of errors I think it's the way I'm saving my files it's just bringing it as blue whereas it's not blue um, so what I'm going to do is in this case I'm going to um, collapse all of this down by pressing ctrl E I'm going to say ctrl A copy new and I'm going to put a new file RGB transparent 8 bit that needs to be 8 bit ok actually I could probably go to image image size no it doesn't have it here ok file new 1024 1024 72268 ok ctrl V save as um, T done okay it's open so it doesn't like it uh, let's close that no nope, don't save it come here and the file save as uh, T done okay okay so now hopefully okay there we go sorted beautiful unwrapping is awesome yes it is Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.